Ahoy! Wanted to do a updated shop tour for you guys. If you saw my first one, you'll notice I made quite a few changes. Got a whole bunch of stuff hung up. I'll do a quick walk around. We've got a bunch of rigging equipment. We've got some fine shop china, right? Some bubble levels. I got a bunch of bearing pullers, extra level, the primordial maintenance tool, the grease gun. Of course, the updated battery operated model. I got some more rigging stuff up here. Got some extra vacuum hose. Clean before returning, please. Couple buckets hanging up there. That's cool. Uh, flame cabinet. All of our power tools, and I've got some big valves down there, some three inch elbows, three inch unions, a couple two and a half inch pipe fittings, and some extra bolts for our pellet mill. I've got all my black iron pipe fittings down in this section here. So I've got half inch, you know, couplers, elbows, all that stuff, all that fun stuff. Three quarter, one inch, and then all the way down to two inch. Concrete anchors, clamps, cover clamps, shims for different uh, bearings or for different pieces of equipment. Big old socket set. Got my uh, diagnostics bag with the FLIR infrared camera, um, couple fluke wireless amp meters and some other stuff in there. Mega meter. Got my electrical bag airline bag all all these bag tours are on my channel if you want to watch them go ahead and check them out um conveyor fixing bag or general bag got all my drills and die grinder stuff in here and then my pipe fitting bag this thing's awesome up in the cabinets i've got cleaning supplies basically and grease and paper towels and crap in here scotch bright got a bunch of small parts organizers in here right like uh Stuff you don't use much, cotter pins, set screws, you know, rubber gloves for the nastier jobs, uh, random pins, paint stuff, jigsaw blades. I've got a lot of airline in here and some other cleaning products, uh, distilled water, glue, electrical tape, Super 33 all day, baby. Tub of towels, love that stuff. Got uh, miscellaneous parts here, like old ballasts from electrical fixtures, uh, pull barn screws. It's just kind of a catch-all for parts. I've got some more part storage up here. Got some plumbing fittings and some uh, blue plumbing stuff. I've got PVC, sandpaper, electrical wire. Then we got my fastenal bin. What the? F all right, air compressors making noise. Oh, that was probably the condensate drain. Interesting. That kind of spooked me a little bit. I'm here alone right now. So, uh, anyways, fasten all bin. Okay, we got just fasteners and then some miscellaneous stuff down there. I just built these shelves. These are like the Harbor Freight six dollar cubbies or uh, six dollar like organizational trays. They got wire nuts in this one. You know, air fittings. NPT adapters, zip ties, tape, outlets, J boxes, NPT adapters, and the bigger stuff, uh, air net stuff, flare fittings, weather stripping, small paint brushes, stuff like that. These shelves turned out really good though. Super awesome for organization. Got a fireproof little bucket there for dirty rags. Got some extra rope. Some extra airlines. Got the toolbox. This is kind of the overflow. Just wrenches, big wrenches, you know, hammers and picks and Allen keys and stuff I don't use every day. Air hammers are a godsend at a feed mill. Got some other crap in there. I've got a toolbox tour, I think, on my channel somewhere. Uh, it's just a cart I use for carting stuff around. Up here we've got some. Uh, airline scraps that might come in handy, some old come-alongs and some extra handles, uh, explosion-proof light on a whip, got our fall protection stuff and some extra uh, extra long extension cords, high lift jack, uh, got a bunch of uh, grease, broomsticks, hey yo, that's me, 
All right, some uh, LED light bulbs. These are the ballast bypass type. I've been updating as we go. Got an air reel above my bench. Pretty sleek. All right, here's the bench. I built this maybe two years ago. Got, uh, you know, big power tools down here, the heavy stuff like the uh, magnetic drill, the demo hammer, port of power, Bosch Bulldog, electrical box, and then a paint box, my Kennedy toolbox, and I got, you know, tap and die under here, Forstner bits, helicoil thread repair stuff, shop vac, table saw, use this table as an outfeed, right? And right behind the table saw is all of my long stock storage. So two inch pipe down to half inch. I've got some Unistrut and uh, conduit. Got some airline stuff in blue here, some PVC and lumber. This is our dust collector, which I wish wasn't here, but it's in the shop. It's fucking noisy, but that's where they put it. So little table saw. Got our brand new compressor. I just did a video on explaining how those work. Rotary screw compressors, here's the old one. Air dryer, compressor tank, some brooms and stuff on a shadow board. Up here, I've got a 100 foot extension for uh, air, air hose, some pecs, some one inch pecs that I'm gonna need on a project coming up. And then I've got a bunch of belts. Um, these are some, uh, I think US 50 up to 80 chain. I'm missing a row of 40 right now. And then I've just got a whole bunch of belts for all of our equipment. Got a little trolley up here on, a, I think it's a half ton or one ton lift. Comes in handy from time to time. Um, elevator nuts and cups, or elevator bolts and nuts. And that's about it. I think that's the gist of the whole shop. Walk back over here and get a wide view. Oh, I got some extension cords on some hooks behind here. But there she is. I'm pretty happy with it. It's come a long way since I started. Got a little shop heater up there. Steam. Uh, steam heater. You know. There it is. So... Pretty fucking organized. It's important to be organized, especially in a production environment, right? If we're down, we're not making money and we're paying a whole bunch of people to be here. Usually they're helping fix the issue, but you know, never good to be down. I've also got back here, it's just overflow storage. I got some parts on some shelving, extra oil. Oh, this is my little broomstick for getting belts off the wall there. Custom made, check that out, welding rod. Fucking mint. Got a surge tank for the uh, cleaning valves on the dust collector. Extra light bulbs. Okay, we're getting boring now. There it'd be, oh hey, wrench rack. This turned out pretty good. Standard metric adjusties. All my pipe wrenches. 15 inch adjustable automotive wrench. Extra buckets down there for quick grab and go. There it be, the glorious shop. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you got any questions or suggestions on shop organization, let me know down there. Thanks guys, bye.